Right, we've just finished work. We're on the way to go pick Jackson up because we're off on our way down to uh, Sourport on Severn to Larford Lakes uh, for the Golden Rod Qualifier. And it is, today is the Friday, the Golden Rod Qualifier, the first round is on tomorrow on the Saturday. So I'm picking him up straight from school and uh, we're going to get down there. We're going to go meet uh, Jeff Wiseman and Beefer in the caravan. We're staying in there for the night. So, uh, yeah, let's go get Jackson. Hey, up, Jay, I'm, I'm on my way. All right, I've just got out of school, so I'm walking down. Where are you? I'll pick you up. Right, we've picked Jackson up. He's an idiot, you know. We've had to stop off on this blooming little side road so he can go and have a pee. Aren't you? Yeah. You right, so let's spin you back round and put you on here. Right, picked Jackson up from school and we're on his way down now, aren't we? Yeah. We've got two hour bloody drive. So let's get down there. Two hour and a bit. Don't we? Yeah, like two hour and four. Yeah, we want to get down there and have some tea, don't we? Right, so we'll see you when we get there. No more peas on the way. <laughs> see you in a bit. Hello, Jeffrey. Where are you? I am uh, just coming past that cafe. You know what we had breakfast at? I keep going, keep going on the bridge, and it's on your left. It's here somewhere. Said on the bridge and on your left. Is that what you said? I think so. Yeah, also. Enjoying that small ploughman's job? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Jackson's asleep. <laughs> the morning bird catches the morning worm. Come on, Charles. Here he is, sleeping beauty. <laughs> Charlie's got up. Oh, he's he's running off. He's running off. It's like coming fishing with rainbow bus. Are we all ready? Can we go to calf now? I 
It'll come, it'll come, Jeff. It'll come. See you in a bit. Right, good morning everyone. So, we had a bit of an eventful night last night, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah. We went to the uh, pub and we had a lovely, uh, well, I, you had, what do you have? Meatballs. Meatballs, it looked all right, that. I had a, a cheese and bacon burger. Charlie had this ridiculous burger, didn't it? We're yeah, ridiculous. it we gonna need Ed. Yeah, Charlie's an absolute lunatic, isn't he? And what did Kinder have? Uh, he had sausage, sausage and mash. Sausage and mash, and then everyone else had plowmen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so funny because Terry, <laughs> Terry Bramley, who knocks about with Kinder and that, he goes, this he collared me at Allcroft, didn't he? And he was like, plowmen, he's loving that plowmen. It's big as all, and you get this big thing and all this stuff, and we're like. All right, yeah. I'm having that plowman. Make sure you order it. Anyway, we get there and then it weren't on menu, were it? And um, I had to go and speak to the chef. He went and spoke to the chef. He could do us that plowman. You do us that plowman. like, yeah, I'll do you that plowman, but only for you. And uh, anyway, they ordered four plowmans, didn't they, between them? Yeah. And I was like, I'm not having this plowman. We, we had something else. And uh, anyway, they brought it, didn't they? They were like, smallest pork <laughs> pie you've well. It's like they've gone, right, they want the plowmans, get to Happy Shopper and get them pork pies bought and that <laughs> bit of pickled onion and a bit of blooming chutney and a right, little Bear piece ham. of cheese. <laughs> Thin ham, innit? Yeah. Anyway, it were, it were a laugh, weren't it? We had yeah. a good laugh. But we're at the, it's the morning now, so we've just had his breakfast at the lovely calf. Um, and it was lovely, weren't it? We yeah. enjoyed it, mate. I don't know what the calf's called, but it's, it's bang on, isn't it? Yeah. We just had a breakfast there. Uh, and we're just on his way to Larford now uh, for the uh, for the draw. So, can't wait to get there. Should be a good day. It's going to be muddy, isn't it? Yeah. That's the only thing, I think. Um, but yeah, can't wait to get there. Should be a good day. It's freezing, isn't it? Yeah. It is cold. Bye five layers on. Yeah, you've got five layers on. Um, it's cold. It's the coldest day I've been out for a long time, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Nosh is coming down in the morning. He's set off at like six o'clock. Yeah. He says he'll be there for half eight. <sighs> Wouldn't fancy coming that early. Yeah. But we've had a good laugh and a good, good sleep last night, didn't we? So, yeah. yeah, looking forward to it. So we'll see you when we get there. Fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, jam you the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? Go on, uh, can we have some telly? Uh, can I get? Go on, Jackson, you draw. Um, how much are they? Is it? Uh, £3 bag or four for a telly. Oh, I love, I love a tenner's worth. And I'll have two micros, a, three micros and a, and a six, please. Three on, micros Jack. and a six? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's perfect. That do you? Thanks. Come on, Jackson. 
A7. What's that? Arena 7. Bottom lake. Right, well we've just drawn and uh, Jackson drew for us. We've got the dreaded arena, didn't we? Yeah. Which we didn't want really. We wanted to be on Specy, but... We've got best peg on arena. So they're saying that it's a better peg on arena. Um, peg 7 on arena. Yeah. Jeff's not drawn yet. Alan's drawn 17 on Spessa, which is a good one. I'll see you in a bit. Um, so we'll see what happens. Don't be too disheartened, Jay. Right. What you got? Yeah, you're yeah, that way, aren't you? Yeah. Right. Good luck. So we'll see what happens anyway. So we're going to get there now, get the tackle out. See what happens, Jaya. Yeah. Should be all right. See you in a bit. Go on, Jay. You don't need to push it. Yeah. Right, here we are. We've drawn peg seven on arena, as we saw. Jackson were a little bit disappointed at the draw, weren't you? Because we didn't want to be on arena, but it seems, right. it seems all right. We're quite happy with where we are, aren't we? Well, we would have been if we'd have been on six. If we're on six arena, oh my God, yeah, I've seen it. I'd have been even happier, <laughs> but it looks all right, Jay, doesn't it? <laughs> so we'll turn you around, show you the peg. Right, so this is where we are. This is six, this is seven arena. That's eight, nine, ten. Um, six is the next one up, which is the one with all the lily pads. But it's not being drawn. I'm not going to do too far, but Jackson, you don't go too far. That's six there. Two lily pads either side. Uh, and then you've got a bay area, that just screams fish. If we'd have drawn that, I'd say I'd win the match. <laughs> it's that good. But we haven't, we've drawn seven, so we're here. We've still got this lily pad to chuck to. There's been a few fish knocking about, haven't there, Jay? So we're quite confident. We're just going to chuck an underarm feeder down this edge here, one to the point, and then one in the middle, just so that we've got one in the middle. We're really going to concentrate down here because just screams fish. Um, so that's where we are. I'll take you down and show you the bits and everything. Right, Jackson's just setting up the other camera. Snack box wise. Oh, Jeff, give me a chocolate flat, Jack. Says they're good. You've had yours, haven't you? Is it good? In here, we've got Dr. Peppers, crisps, oh, a club. He likes mint clubs. I love a mint club. We've got a bottle of water. We've got some pork pies. These were the pork pies that he got at the ploughman's. So, if Terry's watching, there you go, Terry. If you want a ploughman's, mate, pop round. <laughs> You're loving it, Terry, aren't you? 
I'm going to have a mint club, Jamie. Lovely. Like a mint club. So that's snack attack wise. I'll show you now what we've got, what bait we've got. Right, so this is the peg. We've had to get in the water. We're only up to his little leg on the water. Three nets, one of silvers, 75 in net. I've got another couple of nets above me if I need it. Doubt I need them. This is where we are, this is a peg. Quite close to the other bank, it's probably only about 35, 40 metres to the other bank. Um, so we can only really chuck half way, to be honest. Um, that's for me peg. What would you do? Well, feeder down there, feeder there, feeder here, out of way in the open. Simon Fry over there. Always near Simon Fry. Don't know who else is on this lake, but this lake is a zone with uh, 15 others on Match Lake or 12, I think there's eight on here, so it'll be 12 on Match Lake. There's a sec, there's a zone. Then there's a zone on Match Lake. Then there's a zone on Spessy. Jeff and Alan are next to each other on Spessy. And then this is his bait tray, so it's simple, really. Wafters. Got my super sprays for a bit of flavour. Fishery micras. Fishery six mils. Um, I've got a bit of ground bait as well, which is Special G and uh, Special G margin mix. A little bit of ground bait with some pellets. I've done some red pellets, but they're not ready yet because I had to use fishery only pellets. And I put a little bit of, little bit of red krill on them yet, but they're not really red. Uh, let's have a look in fact, let's have a look at them, just whack loads of krill on them. Oh, they're getting there, they're getting there. So, I might be able to put them in in a bit. So, they're the red ones I've done, with me krill. I just like a little bit of alternate, you see, so, that's it. Not going to do too much crazy. Hopefully get a few down there, and uh, just keep putting a few in the net, really. Um, yeah, that's it. That is it. Wish me luck. Right, we are two minutes from the off now. <clears throat> Still not made me this decision where to start, but I think we're just going to give it a go. Go steady. That's the plan. Don't rush into anything. So, yeah, should be a good day, hopefully. Before we do anything else, see if we get any early fish and go from there. Hey, oh. It's a skinner. Oh, well, it's not a good start, is it? Only a skimmer, Jay. A little skimmer first shot. We're only in like three minutes. Stop them bigger fish turn up.
Certainly not my worry though. Simon's going into the middle. First chuck, then nothing. Right. Hopefully, a big enough set scared them skimmers off. But uh, I'm gonna have a couple of chucks on this for 15 minutes, I think, and then probably feed an area in front. has got a skimmer. Oh, that's a carp in it. That's one J in it. Mm -hmm. Small carp I think. Very small carp. Like a stocking. Oh. Like a little stocky carp, that. Well, at least the tip's gone round, isn't it? Can't complain. Back to you when we got something bigger. All right, into a better one. He's here again. There's a fish just down here by his key. I keep seeing his tail. He's massive, isn't he, Jackson? He must be about. Oh, that's another one gone. I think it's them F1s. I've just lost like two on trot and I have just changed my hook and I thought, oh, that'll do it, that. And it hasn't. bit of bad luck at the minute, just lost one. But as I was saying, there's a big fish what just keeps coming down here by my keep nets. It must be about ten pound. And I've just plopped it at the edge of my keep net. And the tips come round and I thought, hey up that's it. But it weren't it was a smaller fish. And we thought it were the bigger one but it weren't it was like a small F1 what had got hold of it. So there's fish few fish knocking about here. And uh, everyone seems to be catching odd one, but um, I just chucked out into the middle where I just put a little bit of bait and it just went straight round. So hopefully, um, might catch a few more out there. <coughs> so, that were a better fish that and all, should have put a bit more. Concentrated a bit more to get that in. 
But if I lose another one, I'm going to change it up again and uh, just keep going so I can do in it. Right. Everyone seems to be catching on here at the minute. A lot of small fish coming out, but I think the guy across just got a bigger one on. Um, I've had a couple more F1s, but I'll really be small. What do you see? Feels a bit bigger. Just had a big one. Um, about seven or eight pound, I think. Seems to be the best, but there's a lot of people underarming and doing a few different things. Turn up later on. Jackson's gone for a walk. He said, I'm going to have a walk, see Jeff, and he's gone up there. So, <coughs> we'll see what they've got. Not sure, we're very happy with his draw. Drawing on uh, Specy. I think we're on 16 or 17 somewhere. I think Jeff's on 16, he's on 17. They're both together next to each other, so they'll be loving that. Old Jeff and Nosha. That'll be a laugh for him. Old George. And then Beefy. Uh, Jeff sent me a great video of Beefy. And uh, I'll put a bit on the screen for you now for our plan. While I get this in. to net that fish beef uh, took 11 minutes 12 minutes to net that fish it might have gone in even longer Jeff was saying about as good as that uh, 
that ploughman's what uh, Terry were going on about. <laughs> right, we're doing alright at the minute. Keep getting odd little F1 and just what's uh, down here. Keep feeding in front. Oh, that red liner. Oh, he's stuck in weed over there. Um, people are catching, I see them catching, but we're doing alright at the minute. Just keep it going in. It was really windy a minute ago, and I wish that wind would keep coming towards me and down here. I'm just hoping that if there's any carp down in that corner, they start moving up to my uh, my smelly bait there. So, thought I had one by now. Oh, go on then. Is that that big line? Line and casting again. So it looks like it's a bit fast and furious on here. I didn't know it were going to be all little F1s and stuff like that. I thought it were big carp, but I remember my mate Mark O'Neill being on Arena before, and he, I don't think he caught much. Poor old Mark O'Neill. God bless his soul. Right, let's keep going. See if we can keep catching them. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago It's half past one Better fish on Jack's in the beam round to Jeff um, he, he had one big cap at that point, he was in the first chunk, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, and he said Nosha had not caught out, I don't know. What did he catch? Mm, skimmers. Hey? Skimmers. A skimmer? No, like a couple of skimmers. Oh, he had a couple of skimmers? Yeah. But no else. He, like, had six chunks. Six skimmers and then that were it. Six chuck chicks, six skimmers. Yeah. And all that Norwich. Yeah. We didn't have all those. And what? And Jeff had had a big carpet at fourteen pound. Yeah, like twelve to fourteen pound. Yeah. Hmm. And then someone, ne the person next to Alan, had another twelve to fourteen pound. Right. So, um, we've got about. 45, 50 pound on this clicker, but I'm not really sure how big we are. Catching little carp, little F1s, and they're small, aren't they, Jackson? Yeah. We haven't had no big ones, but. It. Hang on. Another one. It's a dead fish one. It's proper. It's carp, I'm dead. It's gone bit crystal clear now, I think that's why we're not catching it. Huh? Is that a brain? Or F1. Yeah. 
F1. Call them F1s, yeah. Little cart down. Like a cross between a, an F1, a, a carp and a cruising carp. Mm, it's not bad. Jackson C stuff. I can. You know how you tripped before? Yeah. Where you didn't catch out in the middle of like yeah. middle of leaves. Yeah. Not there. Behind the wood got a dead carp, can't move. Mm, I'll have a look at him later. So it's gone a bit quiet, it's gone really flat calm. You can see everything. There's been fish coming up here. Right in edge, they've been big ones like that. They're under arm, a feeder down, and they don't touch it and they just swim off. So put a bit of bait down this side, mm. put some more bait over there, put some more bait down the middle, sort of thing. And we just alternate in lines. It being a bit quiet, then we catch a couple, then nothing, wouldn't it? Mm. Been a bit funny, like I've just had two on trot there, but it's not uh, crazy. Odd bigger fish on the other side. I think Simon Fry's doing well. There's a lad in corner. He's catching and this guy catching. And there's been been some bigger fish up there, haven't there as well? Um, I'm just hoping in this last sort of few hours, it's quarter two now. We've got about an hour and a half, hour and fifteen minutes left. Oh, we finish at four, so we've got a little bit longer. That's a light, isn't it? So, I think all we can do is just keep putting fish in the net and hopefully these bigger fish start coming in. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know what, what everyone else is fishing or what where everyone else is uh, caught. I'm just trying to concentrate on a sense and catch what we can. So, but I thought it was full of big carp and we've seen a few but I don't, they don't think that they want to feed yet. So hopefully. Ooh, boilers. Huh? These look like boilers what are in my hand. What? Oh! Big carp just jumped. Shush man. He gets excited. Just, just boilers. Just, just, just make some boilers. Great next thing. Drop some of them. Uh, so we'll just carry on, see what happens. It's a bit slow in places, like I said, then you'll get one. Uh, not heard of off Nosh you're after Jackson that I walk around. He keeps catching a bigger one next door. Anyway, we'll keep going, see what happens. Hope for these big ones will start moving in down edge and when we put some snap down there if he stops really standing up every two seconds. <laughs> Thought we we're lying in that way. Right. It's the last hour now, we've gone down the edge and we've finally got a bigger one, but everyone seems to be catching. And then um, ladder cross with loads of matrix stuff on. Simon. We've all started catching a few, so... Hopefully we can start putting a few bigger ones in the net in this last sort of hour. This feels a better fish. Yeah. You what? Yeah. No, it's not. We're a big swirl down there, so we'll see. It's gone really flat calm. I had a word with Jeff, and Jeff said that no one's really catching much. And he says that, he says we might be doing all right in the match. He says no one's catching out on Spessy. And um, he says no one's really catching much on Max lately. Somehow I doubt that's right. Let's just concentrate, see what we see. Mm -hmm. 
We're into the last sort of 20 minutes now um, and I've had one big one down the edge and like a little bigger F1 and a little bigger carp. They're not big, they're not big what I wanted but everyone seems to be getting odd one still but when I talked to Jeff he said it were hard work on the other ones so I don't know what's happened but the guy over there in the Matrix stuff he's caught quite a few um, and I think Steve... Uh, Simon Fry, he's had a few. Uh, they've all caught on here. I don't. It's hard to tell who's who's caught what. But last 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, we're just going to concentrate down this edge, put a bit of ground bait in, keep feeding it, and um, hopefully get a couple more. Um, so I don't know what the crack is with what sort of who's got what or whatever. But uh, we just got to keep going, keep going, and uh, hopefully. We'll do well, so anyway, this will be the last sign off, so we'll see you at the way. -in.
go. We've packed in. We've weighed 102 pounds. Let Jackson have a go in next peg. Oh, Phil said it's all right. So thanks very much, Phil Briscoe. Oh, don't lose any weed. Here he goes. Next peg, first choke. He's got one. Oh, it's a big carp, Jay. Yeah. I lose him in weed. That's it. He's out, he's out, he's out. Yeah, well done. See so it get him in open water. There you go, no more winding. <laughs> Bosh. Go on, net him, net him, net him, net him. Yeah. <laughs> Concentrate, Jay. Here he comes. Lift his head up, he's there. Yes, got him. Playing in a Well done. Well done, well done. Have a look. How much do you reckon he is? Eight, nine pound, I reckon. Right, well done. Sign off. Car by default, of course. Section A, Match Lake, from peg two, with a weight of sixty-seven pound eleven ounces, goes to Steve Brindley. Well, well say. B section. Further down this bank, uh, pegs eleven to twenty, with a weight of fifty-nine pound and ten ounces, was Jason Cawthorn. Well done, Jason. Don't you leave that litter. <laughs> C-section with a weight of 83 pounds 7 from peg 25 on the match, that's uh, 21 to 30 pegs, 87, Martin Carpenter, well done Martin. Section D with a weight of 92 to 13, this is Bessie, 1 to 10. Uh, Goes to Lee Myers from Peg Four. Has he gone? Yeah. I'll spend it. Does anybody know him? No. 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 I know Michael Myers. I was saying. Fuck you then. You're going back to that. Michael Myers, you mean? No Myers. Yeah. Psycho, isn't it? <laughs> Section E. Uh, peg eighteen on the Spessy. That's Spessy pegs eleven to twenty, with a weight of sixty pound fifteen. Oh. Martin Taylor. Section F, peg three for the <coughs> arena, that's pegs one to ten on the arena, peg three with 82 to Kieran Rich. Right, here's right, your overalls. Right, in first place, sorry, in fifth place. <coughs> the fifth place for oh. peg nine off the Spessy with a weight of 98.13, Ryan Wilson. Do not throw your ambulance out of the car down the lane. Do not forget about that. <coughs> <laughs> Does it just remind you of Ryan, you litter bog. In, <laughs> in fourth place with a weight of 101.15 from peg 11 on the Spessy, Stefan Powell. Well done, Steph. Thank well you. Done. Well done, mate. In third place overall and qualifying for the final for peg seven on the arena with 102 to Dave Wood. Oh, well done, Dave. Cheers, Phil. Good lad. Thanks, Matt. Don't run off, I need a picture. I've got to put my wide lens on and all. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I love him. In second place. With a weight of 117.6 from Peg 10 on the Spessy, Andy Kinder. Thank you. Well done, Andy. Well done, mate. And the winner today, 
weighed a weight of 174.10 uh, and obviously qualified for the final of course was Adam Jones. Well done, well done, Adam. Well done. So just to confirm, these are your qualifiers. Adam <coughs> Jones, Steve Brindley and Dave Woods. Go on the brain. Right. So can I have Perfecto, man. Yeah. Right, we're in the car. We've just finished the match. Um, do you want to tell him, Jackson? <laughs> we drawed not best peg in the morning and come third and qualified. Bosh! <laughs> so in the morning, Jackson drew us six at uh, seven on arena yeah. and everyone were like i don't want to be on arena i don't want to be on arena and i've never fished arena before i wanted to be on speci which i know is better but um there were a split zone from arena and match late weren't there yeah. and when we drew it jackson were very disappointed he thought that he'd let me down and all sorts and he were a bit upset weren't you <laughs> didn't want to let his father down mm. and um anyway we got to the peg and it looked all right looked good didn't it i had lilies to the to the right hand side and i and i thought we were in peg six because jeff wiseman goes oh you're in peg six uh, you're in what yeah. we thought were peg six because you've got, got lilies lily, lily. each side and i thought if we were in that peg i could have had i could have had more i think because that it looked an absolute come first. yeah it looked a flyer that peg but anyway we were one down and uh, all i've done is just turned around it to lilies um, I baited up a, uh, a longer line to the middle, um, which I've caught a few off, haven't yeah. I? A few F1s on that, so it was well worth putting that in. And then caught Edge. to the lilies and then just down edging last hour, haven't we? Mm. We're not, we've not emptied it though, have we, down no, edge? And I didn't think really. that we'd got, I didn't think that we'd got enough, really. When we were fishing, we were like, because there were only small, like little carp and little F1s and stuff, well, we thought when we were sat there, we thought, oh, they're only small, yeah. aren't they? I don't think we're going to get them. We don't think we're going to do it, but we ended up to, um, we ended up doing it, didn't we? So, um, so yeah, we ended up coming third in the match. Picked up some at Wally. <laughs> and um, we ended up qualifying, so get in. First, first match of the Golden Rod Feeder Champs. And we've ended up qualifying, so <laughs> over the moon, weren't we? Yeah. We had... had uh, Lucky Charm Jackson with me today. He's been an absolute star all week, uh, weekend, haven't we? We had a good laugh, and uh, I said when we were winnings, I'd uh, buy uh, Terry a ploughman's, but he didn't, he didn't fancy one, did he? When no. I said to Terry, I said, "Go on, Terry, we'll have a ploughman's if you want." If you don't talk about that ploughman's again, <laughs> didn't it? You said like, you were going to get a kinder. Yeah, you were going to get kinder to smash me up or something. Or like, oh, I'm all right. Don't want. I don't want that on me. So, uh, no, we had a good laugh, didn't we? And yeah. it's um, been a good good do, to be honest. And apparently, Nosha on the other bank has took a pound off Jeff again. I know. Yeah. Have you heard? So, Jeff will be absolutely steaming. <laughs> he hasn't been well, though, has he, Jeff? No. no, he didn't look well at all. But, yeah, fantastic. Anyway, we ended up weighing uh, 102 pounds two ounce weren't it yeah, two come two. third in the match i'm not sure the lad who won it um forgive me i'm not, not too sure what your name is but i will put the results up for you now the top five and then the sections and then it will qualify do it me this other lad and steve brinley so uh yeah fantastic uh really enjoyed that jay thanks very much for coming All right. <clears throat> you've been you've been good haven't you yeah. you enjoyed it yeah you had a bit of a crazy 10 minutes where we stood up and he would try. I was sat there with me tip like I'm watching me tip concentrating and then two minutes later and then I get this plumbing shadow <laughs> this no and then a shadow comes over me and he's, he's there <laughs> straight above me and then he sits back down and then I'm watching me tip again and then I hit whack up back of my head whack on my shoulder and I'm like turns around and he's like throwing little bits of stuff at me and I'm like you idiot gear with that but apart from that, it's been a laugh on it, yeah. to be honest. So thanks for coming, Jay. Really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so thanks very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button because it's absolutely free to subscribe. If you want to become a members and get extra videos and watch these before anyone else, just hit the members only option. Um, you hit, hit the join button, sorry, and then you pick the members only playlist and you get over 150 videos of the members only. And it does uh, go towards the channel, so it very much appreciated if, if uh, people are joining up. Uh, it means a lot. Um, give us a thumbs up, Jackson, in it yeah. <laughs> on the video. All that good stuff. Merchandise all available. Hats, hoodies, t-shirts, joggers. These are the hoodies. Uh, Salt loads and loads of hoodies. Um, so if you want one, just email me at baguptv at gmail.com and we'll uh, sort you out and let you know how much they are. That's it. We're going to get off because we've got a long drive and then we're going to get something to eat on the way home and we're watching boxing, aren't we? We're watching KSI v Tommy Fury. If I Tommy to KSI, I'll knock him out. <laughs> that's John Fury. That's a good, that's not a bad no, uh, not impersonation, bad, is it? No. Ah, Tommy is a fighting man. <laughs> Fighting John. If anybody gets in my face, I'm knocking them out. Come on, John. Best I mean yeah, what I say. Tommy's fight time. I don't care. I mean what I say. Come on, mate. I mean what I say. Take it in. Take it it's in Tommy. <laughs> KSIV, Tommy Fury. We're watching Logan, Logan Paul. Paul. Don't know his name. Dan and Diane's or something. Don't know his name. We're going to watch that. Have a laugh, aren't we? Yeah. It's not real boxing, by the way. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> isn't it? If you don't do him, I'd Tommy. Right, we're off. Thanks very much for watching. We will see you soon. Keep on bagging. We out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped off at Burger King for the old winner's medal. Burger King. What's that? Is that? Happy day? Yeah. Right, winner's meal. Mm. Enjoy. Thanks for watching the video guys, we'll see you soon, keep on the